Hello everybody and welcome back to Certified Collectibles. Today we're going to begin a new series on the channel entitled Option Indies. In this series we're going to identify specific comic books which have recently been optioned for television or film. Now this series is going to be a little different than our must-have series. In that series we actually identify items that we recommend for long-term investment. In this Option Indie series we're just going to highlight some titles that have recently been optioned. These are going to be a little bit more speculative in nature just because they're optioned doesn't mean they'll anything will ever happen with them. Sometimes the option just dies, sometimes it goes into development and gets shelved, but sometimes it does make it to the big screen or small screen and becomes wildly successful. So these are just going to be speculative items. We just want to make you aware of them in case you don't already know. So we selected five to start out with in today's video. So let's go ahead and take a look at our first book. Now this is one you probably heard some buzz about last year. Cowboy Ninja Viking number one. Now this was released in October of 2009 by Image Comics. The story follows an assassin with multiple personality disorders. Now this was actually put into development by Universal and starring Chris Pratt, but it was shelved in June of last year. It was actually supposed to be one of uh, last summer's blockbusters, June in 2019, but they actually shelved it halfway and did not release it. According to recent news though, it is back on track. So this may be something that we see in 2020 or 2021 on the big screen. But like I said, there's no way of knowing. Sometimes these go on the shelf and never come back. But this was also a low print run book. There was only 8,375 of these actually originally ordered in this first print edition. So being a low print, it also does add some value even if it isn't something that is actually successful on the big screen or actually comes to fruition. It is a very low print run and is a title that a lot of people have been talking about. So it's worth considering if you wanna add it to your collection. Definitely wanna stay in a 9.8 or above with all the modern books, 9.8 or above is where you wanna be. So let's go ahead and take a look at our second one here. Second one is one you probably have never heard of. This is Hungry Ghost number one. This was released in January of 2018 by Dark Horse and Burger Books. Now this is the first comic work of Anthony Bourdain, the celebrity chef and TV personality. Now this is a series, this series is a riff on the Japanese Indo period game, 100 Candles, in which samurai would try to one-up each other with stories of freaking each other out. But here, of course, the storytellers will not be samurai, they'll be chefs and the stories will be united around the focus on food. This is in development at Sony Pictures right now, and given Anthony Bourdain's presence in Hollywood, like we mentioned, we do think this will come to fruition. So this might be something to consider. Keep an eye on the release of Hungry Ghost number one on TV or film. And if it becomes popular, you know, this might be one to add to your collection. It is a low print run. We don't know the actual number of prints, uh, but this is a low print one in the first print edition. Like I said, nine, eight or above if you want to add to your collection. Third book is another one you've heard a lot about, I'm sure. This is Oblivion Song number one, released in March of 2018 by Image and Skybound. Now this issue was heavily printed. The reason being, it was written by Robert Kirkman who also wrote The Walking Dead and Invincible. We all know The Walking Dead has been on the air for years and Invincible has recently been optioned for a movie. Now, Oblivion's Song is a supernatural sci-fi story that chronicles Nathan Cole, a man who makes daily trips to try and rescue those still living in the apocalyptic hellscape of Oblivion, part of Philadelphia that was lost a decade ago with 300,000 of its citizens. Now, this is in development as of June 2019 with Universal Film. Given Robert Kirkman's star power and the fact that almost everything he touches turns to gold, we do expect this to actually make it to the big screen. Like we said, this is heavily printed. Uh, you should be able to find a 9.8 for under 100 bucks. We recommend maybe waiting out for 9.9 or 10 if they do hit the market if you're looking for a long-term investment type of item. But if you just want to add to your collection and speculate on it, a 9.8 shouldn't cost you more than 40 or 50 bucks right now. There's a lot of them out there. So definitely do your research before you buy this one. Okay. Now this was a great title when it was first released. Still today. Monstrous number one. Now this was released in November 2015 by Image Comics. This is set in a alternate matriarchal 1900s Asia. It follows the story of a young girl dealing with the trauma of war, but she also shares a mysterious psychic link with a monster of tremendous power. Now, both the writer and the artist of this series won a myriad of awards. It is incredibly well received in the community and optioned almost instantly for TV or film. Now, as of October 2019, this was in development with HBO Max, but there hasn't really been any new news about this, so development may have halted. We don't really know if this is actually gonna reach the screen. This might be one that just ends up on the shelf, but it could be re-optioned later. 
this was also a low print run and all the subsequent printings of this is also are also low print runs so either the first printing second printing or third printing are all great to add to your collection maybe all three if you like but definitely worth considering adding to your collection for one of the option indies and our last book of the day is the ice cream man number one now this was released in january 2018 by image comics this is the first appearance of the ice cream man and this series is a bunch of one-off stories that are somewhat disconnected from one another except for the mysterious paranormal presence of the ice cream man in each story now this is another low print run i think only 9454 of these were actually ordered by retailers initially but as of uh, April 2020, this is actually in development with Quibi, the online streaming service. So we do expect to see this one on the screen very soon. This, given the fact that it's a low print run and it will hit the screen, this might be one to consider adding to your collection uh, for a speculative item. Ice Cream Man number one. Once again, very cool story, very cool concept. You know, we'll see how it translates to the TV. Anyway, those are the first five books in our option in these series. If you like this video, please give us a thumbs up, leave us some comments, let us know if you like these, if you'd like to see more of them. And as always, remember to subscribe to the channel for more videos. Thank you for joining us here at Certified Collectibles, and we'll see you next time.